Hi, I'm uh, Neta. I'm a data scientist in Life Person. And uh, recently we moved from MapReduce to Spark. So we started writing uh, Spark jobs. Uh, and then uh, I had uh, a problem. Uh, my Spark, uh, I wanted to run my Spark job on some uh, older data, uh, but this older data was on uh, CDH4, so I couldn't run Spark on this. Uh, so I had uh, two options. One was to implement the same business logic I already wrote in Spark, to implement it new in uh, Scalding. We use uh, Scalding for uh, MapReduce. And then I have to do testing again, and uh, also I might have some uh, maintenance overhead later. Uh, and uh, another option was to write the business logic, the data flow, uh, in uh, one uh, uh, framework, one uh, language, that can later I run on both Spark and uh, Scalding and uh, on MapReduce. Uh, so uh, let's uh, look at the functions that we have in, uh, uh, in Scalding and uh, in Spark. Uh, okay, so I'm not sure what it looks like this. Uh, sorry. Um, okay, so I'll just describe you what uh, should be here more clearly. Uh, we have uh, functions in, uh, uh, we have a uh, typed pipe in uh, uh, scalding and we have RDD in Spark. Uh, and uh, the functions that we have, we have, uh, for example, filter and map. Uh, and uh, if the slide uh, was shown correctly, uh, so you could see that filter has the exact same signature, uh, but map has a bit different signature. Uh, but what we can see is that the functions that we have in uh, Spark and in uh, MapReduce and in, in typed pipe are actually uh, similar. Uh, and they're also similar to, to skull collections. And uh, this suggests that maybe we can write the same data flow uh, in one language and then run it on both these platforms. Uh, so what I want to do is take RDD and typed pipe and instead of writing my whole functionality with them to use uh, another structure called the container. And uh, let's look at this example for a uh, word count. Uh, so if we look at the uh, RDD, uh, word count with RDD, so we get input RDD and output is RDD, and same with typed pipe. Uh, and what we'd like to do is use instead some uh, general function, some general uh, container. So we get an input of container and output of container. So let's look more deeply into this. Uh, so what we have here is this uh, implementation of uh, word count, and we can see that there are a few functions that we need to support. Uh, we have here a flat map, aggregate by key, and map, and we support them using this uh, type class that called has container functions. So uh, if we ha if we manage to uh, support this functionality, flat map, aggregate by key, and map, that means that we can run this uh, this function with uh, the collection that supports those three functions. So has container function is a type class. It's actually, it defines the behavior and the operations that we like to support. See here, for example, our filter and map, and we get this container, and the output is also a container. And also here in map, we have the same behavior. So if we implement uh, these functions for RDD and type pipe, we can use them in our word count. And of course, word count is an example for some uh, very complex business logic that you can have. So uh, this is an example for implementation for RDD container. So we just implement those two functions. Here it's very easy. Where RDD also has filter and uh, map functions, so our implementations are really straightforward, but it can be something uh, a bit more complex as well. And this is the same we can see for typed pipe. And what's uh, interesting to see here is that we have here this class tag. Well, RDD requires this class tag, and the uh, type pipe uh, doesn't require it. But because we use has container functions, then we need uh, to have this boilerplate to have this uh, class tag here as well. Okay, so uh, um, using this uh, solution, when we actually wrote this uh, RDD container and uh, type pipe container, then we can use uh, this count function with RDD or with typed pipe. Uh, and this helps us not repeat ourselves. We have the code written only once. Uh, some problem that might be with this is uh, that uh, if we have some more uh, 
time-consuming task, for example, that we want to use some uh, functionality of uh, memory, using memory for uh, Spark, for example, then it might be harder to implement it because we don't have some type type equivalent. Uh, so that might be a problem. And uh, the ugly part is that we have this boilerplate. Uh, you saw about the class tag, and we also have ordering for type types, and we need to support uh, both of that. Okay. Uh, so uh, one more thing I wanted uh, to show you is that uh, we talked about running the same flow on uh, Spark and on MapReduce, and we have a solution for that. Uh, but we also run our flow on another uh, platform, on another location, uh, and that's in uh, local mode when we do testing. Uh, let's look at how testing looks in, in Spark. Uh, so we initialize some uh, Spark context, and then uh, we run our job, and uh, Initializing the Spark context takes, takes some time, so now our unit test takes about uh, one second instead of a few milliseconds that usually uh, smaller unit tests take. Uh, and uh, we also need to notice uh, that our scope should be, the scope for the test should be serializable because Spark serializes, uh, when you test uh, with the Spark, we serialize uh, the task, so all your additional objects in the test should be uh, serializable. So, uh, my suggestion that instead of testing with RDDs, you should test uh, your flow using the container functionality. Uh, and we said that uh, RDDs are, have a functionality of a collection and also type pipe, uh, but also list, for example. So, what you can do is implement list container. Have the same functionality, so you map, filter, etc just this time with lists. Uh, and that means that now you can do the test uh, of the functionality with lists instead of uh, RDDs. Uh, it doesn't solve you all the uh, testing uh, issues. Uh, you also need to do some tests with the RDD for the serialization, for example. Uh, but then you can use just uh, an empty RDD for that. And for all your uh, sub-functions, you can use uh, list, just test with list instead of uh, RDDs or touch pipes. And uh, you should also test, of course, the uh, implementations of the containers functions in case they are more complex than the filter and map that uh, I showed you. Okay, um, so to sum up, we talked about uh, supporting both MapReduce and, uh, and Spark, and I uh, showed you the example uh, that how we can use it for testing with lists. And you can have uh, on GitHub some more examples for container functions, uh, more complex than uh, filter and map, and you can take a look at this, and also how we can write it in uh, some infix notation. Um, that's it. Thank you.